Hi YouTubers, welcome back to my channel, Tech World, here again in Washington DC, part 3 of places to visit in Washington DC, and here's another significant uh, site, this is the Martin Luther uh, King Jr. Memorial, and I'll do a walkthrough here um, as a symbol of uh, civil rights movement, Martin Luther King did a um, tremendous amount of things to change the world, uh, change uh, people's view of minorities and here um, there's a dedicated statue memorial here for Martin Luther King um, so as you guys can see you, you'll see Martin Luther King um, famous um, quotes on the wall here in this walkthrough visit and then one of his iconic moments um, delivering the I have a dream speech um, is also replicated here in this um, memorial so we continue to walk through here um, Right now, our country and our world is in a crossroad where we have um, a lot of racism and hate in our hearts, um, in many of people around us, and even people who we love might not understand the, you know, rich history. And one of the things that I urge people to do is to treat people like humans, accept people for who they are, um, as people would accept you for who you are. Um, and that's one of the symbol here. That, um, I want everyone to understand is no matter what color we look like or where we came from we all share this common life together uh, with all the different um, aspects that we live in so here you have some historical significance here um, that's left for us to enjoy and it's it is very clean During a, a typical summer in July, this place will be packed with thousands of folks traveling from all over the world uh, coming to take in this history that's surrounding us. Um, the Martin Luther King pathway here, you guys can see. And then we have, around the side, we have some more historical um, moments in Martin Luther King uh, movement. Um, so if you are a history buff and there's something that um, you've experienced or study I would highly recommend coming out here and just having a moment to embrace uh, the changes that we've experienced so I want to show you guys this statue um, of Martin Luther King Jr. Um, as I come across the front here of the Potomac River you will see the statue and many people come here and take photos videos uh, different various celebration and it's a nice place to stand and take this, this history in there you go Martin Luther King Jr. arms crossed overlooking the Washington DC This is called the Tidal uh, bas Basin um, and this is just basically um, parts of the Potomac River that um, is trenched into the Tidal Basin and across there I believe is the Roosevelt um, Monument and it's under construction right now so we won't be able to visit but it's a nice place to come and walk in the afternoon. If you guys can see the far left there, the building is the Holocaust Museum um, and that's another place that I recommend visiting in my part one video um, but here for anyone that's um, interested in Martin Luther King statue um, is a place to see and this is part of my recommendation of where to go. One thing I, I will highlight, all these places are free and you don't have to pay anything even if you're a tourist. Uh, you just visit here. Uh, if you can't drive, take the metro. If you can't get the metro, take an Uber. But once you get to any of these locations, everything is within walking distance. So you don't have to take a cab or anywhere to get to the next site. It's all in one walk. Um, so if you're just prepared to walk a lot, but this is um, truly 
uh, an enjoyable moment because you will get to see so much in just a short period of time. And it has a beautiful walkway across the tidal basin and this would uh, actually um, take you to all the historical sites along the tidal basin. So there's a walkway that gets you to a Roosevelt um, monument, President Roosevelt monument. And this will take you back to where we came from, which is the um, African American Smithsonian Museum. <laughs>